everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know I haven't been uploading in quite a while. Actually, I think it's like a month, but I have been very busy. I've got a new job, I'm doing a lot of hours, and I've had a lot of stuff going on as well in my life. So, I do apologise, but I'm back. And I'm going to be uploading quite frequently because I got myself a box of goodies. And honestly, I can't wait. When I first got it, I was like, oh my god, I actually can't got that much. For the amount of money I spent, I should have got a box full. But I've actually got a box full. Not a big box, but I've got enough. So I thought today I'd just do a haul, show you what I bought. So if you're new here, please subscribe, give it a big thumbs up, and click the little ding bell down below to keep yourself notified. And yes, let's just get in to the video. <laughs> So first off, I got a few pairs of eyelashes. So I got five pairs of these eyelashes. These were just off eBay. Thought, give them a go because I'm not one person that just spends £30 on a pair of eyelashes because they're eyelashes. I only wear them on special occasions, but I thought these look nice online. Quite honest, don't look as nice in person, but they will do. And I think these were £3, if I'm correct. I'll link everything down below so you can see and have a look yourself. And secondly, oh my god, the packaging's cracked. Oh well. I got these eyelashes. So I do use another pair in this brand quite a lot. So I just thought I'd get a different style. They're quite wispy. The fake mink 3D hair lashes. So I thought that would be quite nice. So they were off eBay as well. And so were these. And these ones are absolutely gorgeous. I think these were only like a pound. But look at them. They're beautiful. And next off, I got the new Laura Mercier concealer in the shade N1 or 1N, I think. Now I'm going to tell you something. The Laura Mercier stuff I've got is the only thing I've used. Everything else is new to me, like I just said. And I'm actually wearing it right now, along with the powder, which I'll show you in a minute. And that video will be up after this one, so stay tuned if you want to see how I got on with this concealer and my thoughts on it because I was very excited to use this and I'm not going to ruin it. You can have a look at my video yourself. But. So yeah, I got that concealer. And because I have never ever used the translucent powder from Laura Mercier, I thought I'd get my hands on it. Because it's been like a few years and I've not once used it. And everyone's like, oh my god, it's so good. And I'm like, well, I don't know. I just used other certain powders, which were quite dry. But this, I'm glad I jumped on the bandwagon. That's all I'm going to say. So if you haven't seen it before, I'll just show you. So it just comes in this. It's actually a lot bigger than I thought it would be. I thought it would be quite small, but you get quite a lot in there. So the concealer was £21 off John Lewis, but I think it's gone up in price now. I think it's about £25. I'll have a look and leave it down below, obviously, but I think I got my hands on it when it was on sale because it was brand new and I think John Lewis just wanted people to buy it, if I'm honest. And the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder, I think I got it for £25. I'm not sure, but I think that's... Correct. You know what I've noticed? I really frown a lot, don't I? I'm surprised I don't have a wrinkly forehead. I need to smile more. Next up, I got the Makeup Revolution Fast Base Stick Foundation in the shade F5. Now, I'm hoping I got the right shade because you know how it is when you're online shopping. You don't have a bloody clue, do you? Let's be honest. So, I was meant to get this ages ago. Actually, I did order it off Tam Beauty, but it never turned up. And I was thinking, right, I need to complain. But then I went on my emails and I hadn't even got a confirmation email and on my account it said I've not even purchased it. So I was like, oh, my bad. So yeah, I ended up getting it again. Well, not again, but you know what I mean. And it comes in this really nice matte rose gold packaging and hopefully I got the right shade. Ooh, quite fancy. It looks a bit dark. Let me swatch it on the back of my hand. So at the minute it is a bit dark for me, but I think it'll look nice when I have a tan which normally I buy foundations for when I do have a tan because I can just lighten it if it is too dark when I want to wear it other times. But yeah, it looks really creamy actually. So yeah, I think this was £5 as well, which is a bargain. Makeup Revolution this year and last year have been absolutely smashing it and they keep coming out with more and more stuff and it's like, whoa, hold up. So Makeup Revolution are doing just fine. They are like up there in the drugstore. And then... I also got the Maybelline New York Master Bronze Colour and Highlighting Kit. Now I saw, who did I see use this? Um, Rachel Leary, that's it. 
I saw her use it because she's like obsessed with stationary bronzes, isn't she? And I was like, she looks good. And I was thinking, in summer, I don't want to be matte, I want to be shining in the sun. Got myself a shimmery bronzer. And I also wanted the highlighter, the, um, what is it called? The Master Chrome highlighter, is it? I'm not sure, but I really want my hands on that. But one of the shades in here look quite similar to it. So, can't open it. So I thought I'd buy the, just buy the kit. So we've got these three shades. They're absolutely gorgeous. And I'll give them all a swatch. So, so yeah, they're very sparkly and shiny. I really do actually like that. This one is going to be my favourite, I think. But yeah, I was just thinking in the summer you want to be glowing, don't you? And I thought this is perfect because the quality of them seems really nice. And Rachel Leary just looks, just she looks bomb in everything. So I thought I would buy it. And I think, if I'm correct, this is £12. But for four different bronzers and a highlight, you can't complain, can you? Let's be honest. And it is Maybelline. So I'm excited to try this out. And then... I just got a little Freedom Stippling brush, I thought I can use this for my primers because I, I don't like using my hands like, oh, my fingers if you know what I mean, I, don't, I just don't like using them, I think I feel dirty and I hate touching things after I've got foundation and primer on my hands, so I thought I'd get myself this little Stippling brush just for my primers so I haven't got disgusting hands, so if I can get it out of the packaging, oh my god it's stuck. All right, I've got it. So it's just this little brush, just for, it's really soft. It'll be all right. It smells really chemically though. It's the Pro FF103 brush. It says for a flawless base, a flat top brush for use with blending foundation, but I'm not gonna use it for foundation. I'm gonna use it for primer. And on, honestly, online, it looked a lot different to this. So beware, because in person it's different. And I think this is like a pound, so instead of going to get myself a high-end brush, because i got plenty, I just thought I'd get myself a little cheap one, why not? And then I also got this Superstay Matte Ink by Maybelline New York, and this shade just, just spoke to me. What shade is it called? Seductress 65, so it seducted me, I can tell you that. It just looks beautiful. So, this is the packaging. Oh, look at the dofa on it. It's like a little teardrop. I'll just give it a swatch on the back of my hand. Oh, yes. Oh, I say. It's a beautiful colour, isn't it? I don't know, it's just it's quite nudie, but it's still got like that, well, it's quite a mauve colour, so, I don't know. I just really like the look of it, and I bought it, and I think it was like, how much was it? It was definitely under £10, I think. Might have been 7 or 8 I'm not sure. Leave a link down below, as always. But yeah, and the packaging on this is matte, it's lovely. But the shade is beautiful. I might have to get a few more colours in that, actually. And then, which I was so excited for, I was like screaming, because I found it. It is the Neod, is it Noid? Neod? I don't know. Photography Fluid, opacity 12%. And if you don't watch Jamie Genevieve, then you should because she is bloody amazing. I absolutely love her. And like, everything she uses in skincare, not just makeup, her skincare routine is like, I just want to copy it. So, before she puts on her makeup, she uses the Photography Fluid. Now, on Cool Beauty and everywhere else, you may find this. It is out of stock and it has been for like a year. And every time they restock it, it goes out of stock. Now I found a little site that actually had it in stock. It is basically a highlighting serum, should I say. It is just like a fluid that is very highlighting and you put it under your foundation and it gives you a really nice glow under your foundation. And obviously when you're taking pictures, the glow shines through because of the flash and yeah, beautiful. So it says, apply instead of or under liquid foundation to balance out undesirable colour tones and skin imperfections. This formula can also be used to mix with other products for a subtle hue correction. So yeah, it's just going to make your base look absolutely flawless, especially in photos. So I haven't opened this yet because 
I thought I'd save it for the video, but I've been absolutely buzzing to give this a go, like. So it comes in this fancy box that you just pull out. It's quite stiff. Comes in this and it's just a little dropper. So it's an advanced colourless priming fluid that uses next generation nano prismatic particles to refract light and balance out undesirable hues. I cannot read, can I? <laughs> it contains technology to make skin appear better, specifically in photographs. So that just really excites me. I cannot wait to give this a go. I'm going to use it in a video soon, so if you do want to see it for yourself, make sure you're keeping up to date with my videos. Or you can just go and look at Jamie Genevieve because I would have thought you. She is just, she's good. And then next up, I thought I'd get my hands on the Huda Beauty Filter Foundation. And I got mine in the shade Toasted Coconut, Toasted Coconut 240N. And it says, using a pump or less, apply foundation evenly all over the face with a dense brush or a beauty sponge. For best application, pair with the Huda Beauty Complexion Perfection Pre Makeup Base. Now I read a review on that and apparently it's really thick and greasy. So I haven't got the primer, but I've heard mixed reviews on this foundation. I watch people use it and it looks absolutely flawless. Like Nikki Tutorials, she, my camera just died. I'm sorry, let's carry on. I don't even know where that ended, so if I missed out a chunk, I'm really sorry. So, like I was saying, Nikki Tutorials, 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 she looks amazing in this and she absolutely loves it. Now, apparently it's got a strong scent, which I'm a bit unsure about because I do have sensitive skin and it's quite dry, so I don't know if it's going to, like, react. But, I just wanted a, you know, full coverage foundation and apparently this is the one. So comes in this really nice packaging, I'm sure you've all seen it before, it's not that new is it? Comes with a little pump, I'll just put a little bit on the back of my hand, if it'll come out. Yeah, already it's definitely a bit dark, holy moly, I've definitely got the wrong, wrong shade. I can lighten it, I can use lightning drops, it's fine. Don't you worry. But already I can tell it's full coverage. Bloody hell. Look at that blended out. Jesus. Oh wait, oh by the way, the photography fluid was I think 20 pounds, if I'm correct. Or it might have been 12. 12 or 20 pounds. Something like that, I don't know. But this was 30 pounds. You know what, I'm not good at prices. I'm just gonna like, keep linking everything down below like I've told you before. But yeah. I'm glad I got my hands on this. Some people have told me it's rubbish. Other people love it. But I'll be doing a video on this as well. So keep up to date. You know the drill. So then next I got a few bits from The Ordinary. I got three different things. So first off I got the High Spreadability Fluid Primer. And this just says use as a last step in skincare. And use it as a makeup primer obviously. I not say much about it, it just says spreadability enhancing light weight surface smoother and primer. I haven't had a look at this yet, because I haven't had a look at anything. So it comes in this really nice glass bottle, got a little dropper. I think this was only £5 as well, like the ordinary, all of the stuff I got is pretty cheap, that's why I wanted to give it a go, because I hear good reviews on it and you might as well try it if it's cheap. Give it a go. I wanted to get the uh, foundation as well, but nowhere had it in my shade. And next up, I got their AHA 30% plus BHA 2% peeling solution. It's a 10 minute exfoliating facial pH 3.6. It says, clean face and wait for skin to dry. Do not use on wet skin. Apply evenly across the face using your fingertips. Leave on for no more than 10 minutes and then rinse with Luke water. Luke water, <laughs> Luke warm water. Avoid contact with the eyes, blah, 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 blah. I don't actually say what it does, but basically, I don't know if you've watched my other videos, I have really bad texture on my skin. This is literally meant to peel off the top layer of your skin, is it? And it's just meant to help with all your texture and your fine lines and everything. So I think I'm gonna start using this because it was cheap enough. I didn't wanna go and spend a lot of money if I didn't get on with it, if you know what I mean 
because I have really bad like dry skin so I didn't want I knew something this strong would be irritating so I thought I'd get something cheap just to try it so it comes in this red bottle it is a red fluid inside and it just has a dropper like all the others but if you do use this it does say use sunscreen after because you're gonna be like damaged by the sun if you go out once you've just peeled if you know what I mean so I'm not the best at explaining things but good reviews if you've got bad texture and all that give it a go it's only like seven pounds I think mm. and then I have the hyaluronic acid 2% plus B5 and this a hydration support formula with ultra pure vegan hyaluronic acid so this you're just meant to put it on before your moisturizer or your setting not setting mist before your facial mists and hyaluronic acid holds on to the moisture more so you are going to be more hydrated I think that's right <laughs> and that also comes in a little glass bottle with a little dropper so obviously I have quite dry skin as I keep saying so this is really going to help hold the moisture for me and then I've actually left best till last because why not so first off, well they're all the same brand, I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy Highlighter and the Powder Bronzer and I also got three lipsticks. So let's have a look at the bronzer first, I've not had a look at this actually, I got it in the shade Saddle. This all comes in really nice packaging you know, like everything I've got is like really good packaging. So it just comes in this little compact, I don't know if you can see, my light is very bright, <laughs> looks like quite a good shade actually, it's quite warm which I like, so it's just this one here, so yeah it's just a nice, quite warm and it's very fine which I like and it looks like it's going to blend out well and I've heard very good reviews on this as well and I think it was £29 if I'm correct and I got this off Court Beauty. So it just says a powder bronzer for face and body creates a natural matte traceless finish with buildable coverage. So that's that. Next up I've got that Amrezy highlighter and oh my gosh I'm just in love already like it's just adorable isn't it sorry my like light. Just look at it like them waves, that glow, the colour, I am just, I don't even want to touch it because it looks that pretty, but I'm going to give it a swatch of course. So before I swatch it, it says an illuminating powder with an ultra smooth formula and radiant finish. This is obviously collaborated with Amrezy and they did a bloody good job. So if I was to collaborate with someone, I would definitely made something like this because it, this is just beautiful. Like, I know it's £29 again, but it's definitely worth it, like, definitely worth it. Just to look at, just having a collection, like, when when this runs out, I still hope there is going to be some out there, because I just never want to let it go. Look at it. I don't even want to touch it. It's just so pretty. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh, I feel so bad touching it. Can you see that? I know my lights are really bright, but oh my gosh, that's just gorgeous. So this is obviously my favourite thing because it is bloody gorgeous. Like, if you haven't got it, I'll get it before it goes because you will not be disappointed. It is just bloody beautiful. I'm impressed. Like, I'm so thankful I got my hands on it. I've been debating it for quite a while and I was like, no, can't spend your money. Keep your money, save your money. And then I go and buy all of this, so well and then finally I just got liquid lipstick set and it just slides out like so and I got the shade dazed buttersweet and Hudson now I think Hudson is gonna be definitely the shade for me let's get them all out so that is Hudson that is buttersweet and that one is days now. So they are really pigmented. The colours are absolutely beautiful. And the film looks really nice actually. They are really nice colours. And I think they are like 20, 30 pounds maybe for all of them. But you can obviously get them individual. 
They are a long wearing high pigment matte liquid lip colour. And I got two freebies, I got the Dr. Dennis, oh that's from Cool Beauty by the way, so they sent me these freebies, I got the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Glow Pad Self Tanner for Face, and I got the Dr. Dennis Gross Furuleric, oh my god I can't say that, and Retinal Triple Correction Eye Serum, so just little samples. And yeah, that is absolutely everything I got now. It may not seem a lot to some people, but that cost me an absolute bomb. Like, obviously, the Anastasia Beverly Hills, three things from there. That's a lot of money, if I'm going to be honest. So, everything I have got in them boxes, I will be using in an upcoming video. Like, the Laura Mercier stuff I've got on now. That will be the next video up, so stay tuned for that. And every other video I'll be coming up with. Oh, and before I forget, because I was nearly going to forget... So this is just a little shout out to Dee, she is another YouTuber like myself, well we're not YouTubers yet but we do videos on YouTube. So yeah Dee I have supported since I first started YouTube, I think she she is just the most lovely little thing ever, I absolutely, I've, I don't think I've spoken to anyone as nice as her in my life and she literally supports me as much as I support her and I just wanted to get more views and more subscribers so if you would just check out her channel give it a subscribe, give it a thumbs up, give her some support because she is just lovely and I'll leave her in the description box down below so yeah thank you if you would go check her out it means a lot to me as well as her yeah thank you all for your support I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in a long time but it can't be helped you've got to work I've got to make a living so yeah if you did enjoy this video please give it a big thumbs up Subscribe if you're new and yeah, click the little ding bell down below to keep yourself updated because apparently we're not going to be in your subscription boxes anymore unless YouTube thinks you're going to like the video because they're switching it up a bit. So you might not be able to see my video, so make sure you are notified by the little dingy bell so you don't miss a thing. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!